Every now and again, football gets aggressive, and when things get hot on the block, there are some guys who are usually at the centre of it. Let's now count down the 10 most aggressive players in the world of football right now. Shout out to Gennaro Gattuso and the like, but we will be focusing on only active football players in this video. Let's get to it. Number 10, Granit Xhaka. Xhaka is coming in at number 10 because he seems to be turning a new leaf under Mikel Arteta. The Xhaka we all used to know was always starting something. I mean, this was the guy who, as club captain, swore at his own home fans and then had to be suspended and stripped of the armband. The truth is, Xhaka is the type of leader who is always ready to fight for his teammates, but perhaps a little too ready sometimes. The Swiss midfielder is notorious for his impulsiveness and hot-headedness, but he has been a good boy so far this season. More of that, Xhaka. Number 9. Jeffrey Condogbia If you have a naturally aggressive player, and then he goes ahead to play under Diego Simeone, just know you're about to get a double dose of that aggressiveness. And that's exactly what we see with Condogbia. We all knew Condogbia to be a hard man, since his days at Inter and Valencia, but things went up a notch when he made that move to Atletico in 2020. Condogbia doubled the number of bookings he gets in a season in just his first full season at Atletico. He was shown a yellow card 10 times, and was given his marching orders on two occasions last season. This season, he seems to be going strong, having been shown yellow cards in just a little less than a third of the games he has featured in so far. Number 8. Gianluca Mancini Mancini is a very tough defender, and his height surely makes him a little more intimidating to his opponents. Honestly, when Mancini named Marco Materazzi as his favourite defender of all time, we should all have known. Seven yellow cards already this season. 21 last season along with one red, 14 and one red in the season before that, 15 and one red in the season before that one. We could really go on and on about Mancini's disciplinary record, but we're sure you get the point already by now. Mancini is definitely not the guy to be messed with, seeing as he's obviously not scared to go into the referee's book at all. Number 7. Zlatan Ibrahimovic Do we even need to tell you about Zlatan? The lad is one to talk big and immediately back it up. He's arrogant and he owns it, so naturally, people know to not mess with him. While he might be seen as a jovial guy by some, he is one who has picked fights with different people at his different clubs, both opponents and his own teammates. You probably remember that day when he went head to head with Lukaku on the pitch in the Milan derby. But if we want to throw things further back, we can look at when he punched Marco Rossi in the stomach during a match or when he got into a fight with his own teammate, Oguchi Onyewu, in training. He even took that bad boy persona to the US, once choking Sean Johnson of NYCFC. Anyone who chooses to mess with his 6 foot 5 mountain of a man in spite of his black belt in Taekwondo will probably end up having themselves to blame. Number 6. Arturo Vidal Vidal has always been known for his versatility and aggressiveness. If there's a ball to be won, he's going for it, regardless of what's in his way. And that's probably why he has been shown close to 200 yellow cards in his career. For context, N'Golo Kante, who some people categorise as a hard tackler, has received a total of 64 yellow cards in his entire career. Just let that sink in for a second. Arturo Vidal is that guy who will tackle you and get sent off in a friendly. And this is not even an exaggeration. He once saw a straight red in an international friendly game against Serbia back in 2012. Vidal is just that type of guy, and always has been. Number 5. Luis Suarez Luis Suarez is one of the most annoying players to have ever played the game of football. His shithousery is on a whole different level. If he's not riling up the opposing fans, he's mocking their coaching staff with his goal celebrations or performing theatrics on the pitch in order to sway the referee. With Suarez, you just don't know what to expect. But in addition to his petty shithousery, Suarez is actually pretty aggressive. I mean, how many players in the history of football have been known to bite someone on the pitch? let alone do it on three different occasions. And apart from biting, Suarez is known to get into trouble in other ways. Whether he's stamping on an opponent or being aggressive with his speech, it's always something with that guy. If he was not as good as he was, he would have since faded into oblivion. And speaking of fading into oblivion, number 4. Mario Balotelli Now, this is one striker whose attitude derailed his career so much. Balotelli was one of the finest and deadliest strikers in his 20s, but his bad boy persona really did a lot of damage to his career. 
he was a thorn in the flesh of the managers who coached him. Mancini often called him crazy, Mourinho called him unmanageable, and can you even blame them? We're talking about a guy who always loves to get involved in a fight here. We're talking about a centre forward who has somehow managed to amass more than 150 yellow cards and 14 red cards in his career. For context, that's more than twice the number of bookings Lewandowski has seen in his career, and he's older. I mean, why is a striker getting that many bookings anyway? What for? And oh, remember that one time Balotelli threw darts at a youth player as a prank? Nah, you really won't find as many aggressive strikers as this guy. But then, maybe there's one. Number 3. Diego Costa Diego Costa was built to be a villain. If he didn't play for your favourite club, then chances are that you hate him. And here's the thing, he feeds on that hate. He thrives on it. He yearns for it. He is a recipient of multiple violent conduct charges from the English FA. And are you surprised that in his first full game back in the Premier League with Wolves, he got shown a red card? And even with all you're seeing right now, you can still say the Spaniard has calmed down, because it used to be worse with him. We have lost count of how many times he has stamped on players, gotten into and even instigated fights on the pitch. A number of opposing managers have said that Costa goes out of his way to provoke opponents on the pitch, and if you've watched this guy play, you can't categorically say they're wrong. In 2015, L'Equipe named Diego Costa the most hated footballer in the world. Number 2. Pepe Pepe will be 40 real soon, so as expected, he's now much calmer and reserved. But if you knew him when he was younger, then you'd understand why he's on this list today. The Portuguese defender is hard as nails, and is one of the most aggressive footballers that have ever played the game. Pepe is a really hard tackler, and many of his hard tackles actually bordered around dangerous. Many people have accused him of being unsportsmanlike, and that just reminds us of that game against Getafe, close to 15 years ago now, when he pushed Casquero to the ground and then kicked him twice when he was on the floor. The ball was nowhere close, so there was no other explanation or possible excuse for what he did. Pepe was just straight up being violent. Number 1. Sergio Ramos now, who else was going to occupy the number one spot if not the man who has been shown the second most red cards in the history of football? Yes, Ramos might be regarded as one of the greatest defenders ever, but he surely also takes the cake as one of the most aggressive players we have ever seen. And what's crazy is that he has many tricks under his sleeve. He'll kick, slide, stamp, headbutt, choke, or even sneakily dislocate your elbow like he did to Salah in the Champions League final in 2018. If you doubt that Sergio Ramos is the most aggressive active player in the world, listen to some of his records. He is the player who has seen the most yellow and red cards in the history of La Liga and all the major European leagues. He is also the player with the most yellow and red cards in the history of the Champions League and the Spain national team. What a guy man, what a guy. Well, do you agree with our list? Who would you replace and with whom? Let us know in the comments.